morning back to Sunday Wow so I didn't get as many videos shot as I wanted to this past week but I was really busy so a uh, good excuse I guess <laughs> uh, my daughter is out at my sister's she's going for her driver's ed so she is taking classes out there and she'll be gone for the next two weeks so um, she will be home this weekend I'm hoping we can shoot one of our videos um, other than that I guess this week will just be what it is I am fingers crossed I got a call about a contract job it'd be a three month job um, don't know when I would start they called Friday asked if it would be something I was interested in I definitely am and then you play the waiting game and I'm just fingers crossed so and that's part of I guess what's going on this week you know financially I was able to pay some bills which is huge uh, not caught up on everything but the bath bomb sales really really helped and I just want to thank everyone who has ordered and you made my week wonderful I have seen so many people dropping the bath bombs off and talking chatting catching up um, I got two orders that had to be shipped out the first one arrived beautifully the second one should arrive tomorrow so I'll hear how that went fingers crossed on that one um, and so yeah I'm almost out of supplies again and because I had to use the money to re-up on supplies of very low I am going to make bath bombs like crazy today and tomorrow um, and then whatever's left I'm gonna bring to knitting Tuesday night and whatever I sell I will be ordering supplies so I can make more the plan is then to not advertise them I want to get a good good stockpile up and get them on Etsy I have to do Etsy um, my original goal was to sell a hundred bath bombs a month and I think I can do that now I know a lot well everyone every single person who ordered bath bombs from me in the past two weeks have been friends and acquaintances and I need to get this out there I know that the video is being watched I know it would help if I had an actual website I had tried to put the bath bombs on my Facebook page for sale and it wouldn't let me I don't know what I did wrong there so I'll be looking into that and I'll have it ready and I'll let you know as soon as I get the supplies and I get a really good standing supply of bath bombs made and ready to ship I, I learned a little bit more about shipping this week which is you know I'm still on the fence about it I don't fully trust it I I sent out six bath bombs yesterday and I had a flat rate medium priority mail box and it would fit up to 15 bombs but I take an envelope like this which is major major bubble wrap on the inside and I the bombs are wrapped already then I put them in there then I put the popcorn stuff styrofoam popcorn down in the box then I put the envelope then I put more popcorn on top and that was six bombs and the flat rate is thirteen dollars and eighty cents and there's no way I could have fit any more bombs in there doing it that way so I do think I'm gonna have to send some out as an experiment I've got an aunt in New Jersey and a good friend down in Texas and I think I'll send one or two each just wrapped normally and then in the box with the popcorn and see how they do I just get really nervous the bath bombs are rock hard so I think they should be okay knocking together if that were to happen if the box were to be kind of tossed I think they'd stay together I don't think the heat will affect them so anyway I, I sense a cat behind me hey, baby you can be famous stop scratching my furniture she's so naughty um, so as far as the week went itself I mean I did my other videos and so you kind of know like the weight loss I lost another pound that's great seeing so many people that's great yesterday was just it was such a nice day I got up and 
did some things and then I um, went and shipped the bath bombs and a friend of mine I went over to his place left my car there we took his car and went out to Chanhassen to the Minnesota Arboretum if you've never been there if you live in Minnesota you have to go there it's so beautiful and it changes from month to month as different flowers bloom according to what time in the year and I mean I think in the fall it would be fantastic because when you stand outside sort of on the top of everything it's almost like the world doesn't exist the only thing you can see of society is two water towers and so to be able to look over all of that and see the leaves having changed uh, I don't have the money for a membership there right now but I think I'm gonna try and swing it because oh my god I'd be out there all the time they're making a Chinese garden or like an Asian garden and it's gonna be a little Zen area I could go there once a month for my regular visit to see the changes and the new things that they put up and and I could meditate out there on Sundays <laughs> so that was great he uh, got me breakfast and then we got cherry berry on the way home and I came home and I took a two-hour nap and usually when I take naps I wake up and I'm a crabby bitch naps don't really do me a lot of good but I'll tell you what I woke up refreshed I went over to my mom's she had ordered some bath bombs so I brought her order we went out to dinner and uh, I came back and I really just lounged I allowed myself that and talked to my daughter for a while I miss her it's weird having her gone it's weird having it be quiet here not that she's loud but just it's just me and I always say I want that but then when I have it I'm like I don't know so I'm gonna be alone all week but today my friend Rachel and her husband and their kids are coming over I haven't seen them in six years I was supposed to go to a baby shower and kind of have to weigh what I can do where and um, <clears throat> this gal who is having the baby shower her pregnancy has come with great difficulty and the baby has uh, uh, it makes me want to cry now the baby has a rare heart condition and she this girl is young and she's being so brave and she is not looking at this as a bad thing it's what he's gonna bring to her life what she can bring to his um, how she can make his life as impactful and meaningful and wonderful as possible like she is so brave and I do want to see her, so I'm going to reach out to her, let her know I can't be at the shower, but then also I want to get together with her before the baby's born. I don't have any money to buy any gifts, but I thought, well, I could maybe make some things. And um, yeah, so, so things are terrifying. They really are. Uh, I go back and forth on the fence about the GoFundMe thing. I don't want to do that until I know I've got some kind of job and then I might open it up again you guys and it's it's not it's not that I expect anyone to help or that I want anyone to foot the bill for me I just we got to get over this hump so that when the three-month contract is up I either have some cushion there or um, you know I, I'm gonna keep looking for a full-time job obviously they did tell me that the company is moving downtown and that's why they didn't want to hire anyone permanent now if they got someone great a rock star let's pray to God that's me they would bring them downtown they would hire them but I don't want to work downtown so if I get this I will have to find out I'll have to get a lot of information first of all I'll have to kick ass and I'm talking about all this as if I have the job I don't like to do that because I just haven't had a lot of luck there it's been so frustrating um, so my point was that you know if I get the job I probably will do the GoFundMe do not feel obligated please don't be offended by that I'm just trying to do anything and everything and the bath bombs will continue and hopefully we'll get to a point where it offsets everything and it's just extra so I can make more supply or more products and I can I can uh, have some maybe have some special things we haven't had a TV in years I'd love to get a TV I'd love to be able to go to Ulta and get some makeup there's a new uh, Urban Decay palette eyeshadow palette and lipsticks 
I want it so it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and I'm just like oh my god oh my god like I'm obsessing about this palette the colors are all like rusts and fire and deep coppers it's oh my god oh my god it's beautiful but it's $54 too lipstick I think is like 17 so yeah I can't get that anytime soon anyway um I'm going on and on and on. I think out loud sometimes when I do these videos. A lot of people did help this week. Uh, Monday when I dropped the bath bombs off, a friend, the friend that I dropped them to said, hey, I want to take you grocery shopping, and she did. And another friend came Friday to pay for her bath bombs, and she brought a little care package with things like toilet paper, toothpaste, garbage bags, uh, some little bags of like snack bags of chips and you guys everything helps and I am so grateful for all of it there there is there's no amount that you could put you know this is more on because everything is so thoughtful and everything helps us so much and you try to keep going and having hope and you start to lose that and it's terrifying. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to feel sorry for myself. I just try to keep going. And some days, man, I'm on. And other days, I just kind of go whoosh. And I am grateful my friends are coming over today because being by myself, I can get lost in that very easily and I won't have a chance to. I'm gonna have little ones all over the place. <laughs> so, um, so, I continue and and I hope here again I say this every week God I hope I have good news I did have good news this time like the bath bombs people have been so supportive and so I hope next week I can tell you I sold the rest of the bath bombs with what supplies I have left that I've been able to order more I'm gonna order some mold so I can make more at each time and um, and uh, and that I got a job even if it's contract, it's not permanent. It's a job, it will bring in money for now. And I, I believe that the universe, when you get going and you stand up and say okay and you start to gain momentum, if you're positive about that and you keep sticking through it, I believe the universe picks up on that momentum too. So let's just see what this week will bring. Like I think it could be really good, fingers crossed. And um, I'm gonna stop now. And thank you for watching. I will try to make a video a day. I really want to do something every day this week. I did not take the video camera out to the Arboretum because I want to save it for a something on Sunday. I'm hoping to go in about a month uh, and I will bring the camera and I'll bring it every time. I'll bring it every time so that you can see the 12 months of change and what they have to offer there as well. And um, so have a great week. Stay positive. I'm crying right now, I don't know why, but I'm going to have a good day and I feel positive, so I guess I'm just overcome with emotion in the moment, and uh, I miss my daughter, but I will, um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video and all week, and then Sunday I'll do another check-in, and God, send me really good energy, like, that this can happen. Um, just quick, I'm still having the contest for the bath bombs. Please subscribe to my channel. Details of the contest will be below in the description box on this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, let's go have a great week, everybody. Bye.